Badger. Hey everyone, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for us to take a look at another champion build video. Today we will be playing as Poppy in the jungle. We're going to be playing her in the jungle because she has a very rough laning phase, like 90% of the time. And we'll talk about that as this game goes on, about why you might want to play her top and why you might want to play her in the jungle. And we're going to talk about her items, we're going to talk about her abilities, and we're going to talk about her masteries and her runes, and a little bit of strategy, the ins and outs of Poppy. Because chances are, and I'm going to throw this out there, I'm guessing everyone who's watching this video has played less than like 20 games against a Poppy, because I've been playing a lot of League of Legends, and damn, I've seen like maybe like 40 games with a Poppy. Maybe. God, there's just not a lot of Poppy players. So, let's change that, shall we? Um, there's some huge reasons why you would actually play Poppy. We're going to talk about them. Because there is l almost any item as Freak has said, that works on Poppy. And I agree with that statement almost fully. Besides, I see no reason why you'd ever want to build her like tanky. I just don't. She's a hyper carry. If you didn't know she's a hyper carry, guess who's a hyper carry? It's Poppy. We'll talk about that too. So let's start with her ability so we know what we're talking about as this game goes on. So starting off with her passive, that's her, uh, her Valiant Fighter. And what happens here is any damage dealt to Poppy that exceeds 10% of her current health is reduced by 50%. This does not reduce damage from structures, unfortunately, but uh, why would it? So, um, basically, you're very hard to kill when you get low. So, yeah. You can keep brawling while low. It's super fun. Makes you carry. Um, keeps you alive. Another reason why you don't really need to build tanky, you're just going to naturally beef up. There's another reason why you actually naturally beef up, too. Just a tiny bit. Not, like, huge. She is very squishy, generally, if you don't build her, like, beefy. But you're not. You're a hyper carry. And there's no reason to build you tanky because of other reasons we'll talk about. And then, your Q is what you're going to take and put a point into at level 1 in the jungle. You are going to max this out first as well. This is your Devastating Blow. I think we max this out first in the jungle. Yeah, we max this out first in the jungle. Um, this is your Devastating Blow. Um, Poppy, is, her next attack is going to deal attack damage plus ability power plus... 8% of the target's maximum health as magic damage. The bonus damage is based off the enemy's health and cannot exceed a certain amount. So, um, no big deal there. Basically, her Q does a lot of different things, damage-wise, and does a lot of it. So, it's a lot of damage. That's your devastating blow. I mean, it's devastating. That's what they called it. So, level 2, you're going to put a point to your Paragon of Demacia. And what happens here is passively, upon hitting or attacking an enemy, your armor and damage are increased. This effect stacks up to 10 times, which is kind of awesome. And then you're actively, when you use that, Poppy gains the max stacks of it, and her movement speed is increased by a percentage for 5 seconds, which helps with chasing and with escaping. Very helpful for ganking. That is very nice. We're going to max that out second, actually. And then... Your E ability, which is your heroic charge. Poppy is going to hit an enemy a short distance, and if the impact itself is going to deal damage, magic damage that is, skills from ability power, and if they collide with terrain, then it's going to deal even more damage, and they will be stunned for 1.5 seconds. So it's very important when you charge that you either charge them back towards your team, so your team can get to the enemy, or that you hit them into a wall. Here I'm gonna come out onto Elise, try to hit her in the wall, barely, barely outside the range. I'm just gonna alt her, there's almost no reason, unless she would've gone out of the turret, because I would've been safe then. But, um, no, we'll just pick up a kill on her, that's fine. And uh, we'll talk about my ultimate in just a second, because we're gonna get into another little fight. I want to take my blue buff. Fiddlesticks on the enemy team thinks that this is his jungle. Sad mistake for him, it is not. I'm going to focus the blue buff and make sure I can smite it. And now I'm going to hit him into the wall when he comes around it, which he did. And then I told Zed and or bonus content to come up and be like, yo, finish off that kill, bro. Okay, thanks, bye. So now he gets a blue buff. Yay! Blue buffs for everybody. Um, so yeah. I focused on the buff because I knew I had the Zed on the way. Very helpful. And then finally, my ultimate, which we did see me use for a split second up in top lane, that is my Demacian Immunity. Or, not Demacian Immunity, it's my Diplomatic Immunity. Um, for a duration of time, 6, 7, and 8 seconds as you level it up, Poppy is immune to any damage and abilities from enemies other than her target. Poppy deals 20, 30, and 40% increased physical damage and magic damage to the marked target. So, when it says any damage, it means any damage. So, if you alt somebody, which typically you're going to want to alt the support because you only take damage from them, which, let's face it, 
Nami, enemy team. She ain't gonna hurt me at all while I'm ulting her. And I'm immune to everything else and go go kill everyone else. You can turret dive. It's a free turret diving tool. Here we're gonna jump on Misfortune and pick up a kill because she deserves to die because she's on the enemy team, really. Did a lot of damage with that next Q on that fiddlesticks and we'll pick up an assist to the... Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. It's not because I don't believe in casting, but the casting Kyle. Kyle's casting this whole game for fun. Why not? Oh, well, there's no casting in this game because there shouldn't be. Doesn't matter. Um, there we barely missed once again the stun on her. Um, probably would have killed her because it's a lot of extra damage you get off the stun. The stun itself, when you get the stun on them, that actually does more damage than just the hit itself. So, um, that's pretty awesome actually. Yeah. So. Um, the main thing, everybody always asks, well, like, what's the skill ability? Like, what do you do? Or, like, what's the key goal? The key goal with Poppy is you want to stun the carry. Okay, what you want to do is you want to alt the support, stun the carry into wall, hit her with a Q and kill her in a second. And tower dive for your team and hit and take up the aggro because with your ultimate for 8 seconds at max rank, you will not be taking any damage. There are no repercussions for tower diving with Poppy and, the, and on your team. So, um... This is one, these two things, her passive and her ultimate, make her insanely strong. It's just, she just struggles, because those are great team fight things, or solo fight things just under a turret, but just being picked back and forth in lane can be difficult, so you need items that help address that um, be, by basically being a bully in top lane, which requires you to farm, which makes it tough if you can't, because if they bully you out early, because you don't have a ton to work with early. So that's why she has a rough, rough laning phase, and that's why I'm playing her in the jungle. Um, we have built the Spirit of the Elder Lizard. Pretty helpful. Helps us get extra gold in the jungle because of, you know, jungle item does that. And then also gives us health and mana back on hit, obviously, because of what is built into the uh, Spirit Stone or whatever. And then we picked up Boots of Mobility, which helps us for getting around the map and ganking. Fun stuff like that. And then we built the Trinity Force because that is the first main item you want on Poppy. Because that is the definition of damage for her. She might use the Trinity Force better than almost any other character. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Jax, and I just said that. Um, she It's because all of her stuff does magic damage. Everything does. So that little bit of AP on it really goes a long way. And then the movement speed on it is really awesome. And then the Sheen proc on it is amazing. And attack speed is even better. I mean, like it fits her perfectly. It is a perfect poppy item. You want it every single time, and you want it early. So that is why we have built the Trinity Force. It is our go-to. Now, we'll just cover Masteries real quick. We're going to go with the classic. It's not even classic. It's 24-2-4. <laughs> so it's, it's weird. It's down below. You can look at it right here. Um, you want that in the jungle for Poppy. It's pretty awesome. You want the damage, really. Your passive helps you save your life, and you have an ultimate that negates all damage. Here, we're going to move in. We're going to hit the Misfortune in the face and killer. And now, we're going to hit... Uh, fiddlesticks into a wall. Now, another thing we can talk about as we hit fiddlesticks into a wall as he's trying to counter jungle is... I was not even in that bubble. We'll pick up the kill on him. And yeah, somehow it altered her after she was way out over that wall. There's no way she was in range, but whatever. We're just gonna escape, use Blade the Rune King, get out of there, and slow down that Lise who is mildly scary. And yeah, so... One thing we can talk about, a couple things just in general about Poppy in the jungle is she counter ganks incredibly well. So that's one thing you need to utilize when you're playing her is try to counter gank. Another thing that you can also do um, is put down vision for your team. Very helpful, obviously. But um, she kind of can counter jungle because you really want to land your heroic charge on people into walls. Guess where enemy junglers are all the time? Next to walls. It's a jungle. There's tons of them. So... You, you can, if you are ahead, or if it's a jungle you are confident that you can kill, you might want to try invading occasionally, um, because you can just charge, while they're taking a buff, dude, charge them into a wall, hit them with a Q, they're going to be half-lifed, and they're not going to be able to fight you, probably. So, um, you can really use that to your advantages, Poppy, if you want to get control of the jungle. So, are they really taking Baron? We really are behind in gold, like, this whole game, aren't we? Well, that's interesting. So, that's fine. Whatever. Very high kill game. There's lots of lack of communication from our top laner on this on this game. So, um, that's just a fun fact. So, yeah. That's another thing just to remember with Poppy in the jungle. Um, and once again, the main thing... I, I just can't overstate things because a few people f just have recently said, like, I'm not telling people what to do with the champion. Like, alt the support, tower dive, kill the carry. 
get in there and do that. I don't want to self up that ultimate yet. And we gotta get in there. So there's the uh, there's the alt on the support. Miss Fortune's gonna die to the Zed, and we hit her up too, obviously. And now we're gonna get out because it's that time. Our uh, our Blitzcrank wasn't here, so was he not? I don't even know. Doesn't even matter. Whatever. Doesn't matter. But yeah. So continuing with items, we have finished off a Blade of the Rune King. Attack speed, life steal, percentage health damage, even more on top of our percentage health damage already, and then um, the active. Easy for chasing and very helpful while you are in super mega, super saiyan poppy mode when you use your ultimate and you're chasing them down at max speed with your W being activated and your ghost because you take ghost on poppy, not flash. Fun fact. And uh, yeah, because you want to chase down and kill that target. That's your goal. That is your goal as poppy. And if you can kill two or three targets, which you will be able to, it's quite easy. I get a triple kill at the end of this game, actually, really kind of nicely and quick. Um, unfortunately, I don't think think you get to see it because spectator mode has been crashing a lot lately. So um, the end of this game actually gets cut off, which is sucky. But late game Poppy, with her ultimate up, whoa, if they're stacked together, you're going to kill everybody really fast. Like, really, really, really fast. So Poppy gets tons of kills late game. You really want to get to past about 35, 40 minutes with her, and you're going to start doing work as long as your team fights make sense, which none of ours have. So, as you can see, as our tree gets chased in circles. But yeah, you, uh, you're you going to crush people in the ground. It's going to be fun. You're going to love it. As for the runes, let's talk about those. Um, attack damage marks work. Another great one that people take, especially in lane. A lot of what you really want to take in lane, for sure. You can take in the jungle, too, are armor, or not armor, um, hybrid penetration marks. Those are perfect on Poppy. Everything she does is like magic damage, and then your standards are your AD, but everything scales something, scale from AD. Like, it's it's weird, whatever. Like I said, any item damage-wise kind of works on Poppy. We're going to cover that in a second, too. Nami gets obliterated because you need a two-shot, people. That's how it should work. Um, we have finished off the Infinity Edge as well, so we've done that. And then as for those runes continuing, seals, we're going to go with the armor. Marks, going with magic resist per level. And then movement speed, quince in the jungle. That's what we want, and that's what we're going to take. Pick up a kill on Fidile's Desile Sticks. They should change his name to that. It'd be fun. But yeah, so that is pretty much how it works. There, we're going to grab MF, stun into the wall of the inhib. Getting killed on your own inhibitor. How unfortunate. And then we get the assist on that as Blitzcrank picks up his first killed match. How fun. But yeah. Those are that. And so other items you could consider, if you don't have any AP on your team, which honestly we don't this game, but I don't care, um, you typically want to pick up like a hex, a hex tech and like a void staff. Like you can build AP. It will work because everything you do is magic damage. So if you need to increase your team's magic damage output, like if they're prioritizing armor, then this would be a good way to get around that. So um, here we're going to find the Elise. We're going to hit her into the wall because obviously we need to hit her into the wall. Pick up another assist as we have been. But yeah. Pick up a Baron too. But this game's gonna end because, like I said, Spectator Mode's been dying, but we run in pretty much after we go back. And then I pick up a triple kill and we end the game. And we have finally taken the gold lead. God, that took too long, but whatever. Stronger late game team. We have a super fed Zed. Good job, Kyle. And, I mean, at this point, I'm uh, close enough to full build this Poppy that that counts, right? Let's see what I pick up. I'm either going to pick up a, a Bloodthirster or a Hydra. Or or neither. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> but yeah. That, oh, yep. Going Hydra. See? Told you. Um, for Wave Clear and also damage. So yeah. That's going to be the game though because it's going to time out. If you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. Everything you need to know is actually in the description for the build. Um, I, I wish you could have seen the awesome triple kill. It, it was cool. But that's going to be it, guys. I'll just see all of you though in the next build video. We're going to gank from the Nautilus. That is just a crowd control mess for Draven to live in. And they're going to let me pick up the kill because they're very friendly. Hooray.